Hey guys, Coach Red Pill has a video called Atheists Are Stupid. This should be good, so let's check it out. Christmas is fast approaching, and I had a little incident uh, a couple of days ago that was, um, well, quite frankly, it sort of rattled me. You see, my daughter is four years old, and I noticed that she was looking despondent. I mean, it frightened me. You know, when a four-year-old child looks despondent, you sit up and take notice, right? So I went up to her and I asked her, you know, what's wrong? What's the matter? You know, and she looked at me with these big, beautiful eyes of hers. And she said that she had been over playing at her little friend's house and this, uh, and the little friend's older brother, a 10 year old boy had intimated that Santa Claus didn't exist. You have got to be kidding me. It's a video about atheism and he's talking about Santa Claus. Ugh. So I knelt down to be at eye level with her and I leaned forward and looked her in the eye with a furrowed brow. And I held her gaze and I said to her, of course he exists. I talk to him all the time. Uh. Some of you, I'm sure, are saying, well, you should have told her the truth. You know that Santa Claus does exist. And to you, I answer, you know, what kind of a complete asshole would I be to strip away the illusions of a four-year-old girl? Steal yourself. You know it's coming. Now, Santa Claus. And God, I mean, they're, they're two big white guys with big white beards up in the sky, both of them. I mean, they're practically twins. Uh, no, it has been the prevailing understanding over the last 2,500 years that God is the timeless, immaterial, transcendent creator and designer of the universe. It's an idea that finds support both in ancient Greek philosophy and the Bible. It's been upheld by the Roman Catholic Catechism and all Judeo-Christian theology over the last two millennia. In fact, it was common understanding even among atheists that this was what God was supposed to be until just a few years ago when atheists all collectively went stupid and decided that God was supposed to be a man in the sky. What kind of an asshole would you have to be to strip away somebody's belief in God? Especially, you know, if they're not that sophisticated, not so intelligent as you perhaps. You see, I myself am an atheist, right? I don't believe in God. I recognize that as a human being, my understanding of the universe is quite limited, but I do not believe that there is some large white man with a white beard up in the sky controlling everything. Well, bully for you. I don't believe that either. In fact, I don't know anyone who does. I've met a lot of people who are religious, some of them deep, deeply religious, and their religion and their belief in God gives them a sense of purpose especially if perhaps their lives are, are not as happy as they wish they had been, especially if perhaps their life is filled with defeat and setbacks. Dude, it is complete struggle living over here, okay? Total pleb status. I'm dealing with eight foot ceilings in my apartment, so you can understand why I so bitterly cling to religion, but understand this, I will bite the fucking hand that tries to pat me on the head. What, what good would it be for me to strip away their belief. What kind of an asshole would I be? How lacking in compassion would I be to go up to somebody who is a believer and rub their nose in their ignorance and say, look how stupid you are. What a moron, what an idiot you are to believe in God in this big white guy up in the sky. How stupid of you. What kind of an asshole would I be if I acted that way? Hmm? Dude, let me put your mind at ease. Unlike the deal with your daughter and Santa Claus, you don't have to worry your balding, testudinate head over whether or not to tell me God doesn't exist, because 500 morons have already beaten you to the punch. Yes, 500 of the dumbest motherfuckers I know have told me that God doesn't exist, but see, 
telling me something isn't good enough for me, I demand proof, particularly if I don't respect that person's intelligence and I don't respect yours. I know so many atheists, young men who are self-consciously atheist, right? And they're very lonely and they live alone and they have no friends and they are online all the time because that's the only social release that they can find. If they went to church, well, they'd meet very nice people, church going folk. And you know, in church mixers, they'd meet some nice girl, maybe not a supermodel and maybe not very sophisticated, but a decent person. Oh, I'm sorry those church girls aren't like these supermodels you typically see stalking around atheist conferences, am I right? Oh, I'm sorry we don't all have the sophistication of a middle-aged man who spouts the same inane Santa Claus epithets of a snotty, illiterate 13-year-old redditard. There's nothing wrong with allowing people to have their illusions about God or about whatever else if it gives their lives a little bit of comfort. Take your condescending attitude and shove it up your ass, you pompous and deeply, deeply banal man. Okay, I have 2,500 years of the finest thought of Western civilization on my side. You have a fucking Santa Claus meme from Reddit, bitch. Okay? Your name is Coach Red Pill. You want to know about red pills? The true red pill moment will occur when the public realizes we've been fed a steady diet of insipid gruel by a cartel of illiterates posturing as an intellectual vanguard when we reject their bogus authority and when we reclaim the natural sense of wonder, natural sense of belonging, and natural sense of gratitude that is concomitant to theistic belief. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.